Hello. Welcome to another episode of Pro to Me Plays Mario Maker 2. Been a little bit of a break there because other stuff was going on. But we're back. Uh, as always, we're going through the waypoint community levels. Uh, as a result, you might have seen some of these in other streams, for example. Uh, you can find them all at the link below. We're going to continue from where we ended last time. Which was Diego's levels. You may remember a good half hour of the last episode was beating one of their levels. This one is called The Two Trials of Ringtail. It has a 0% completion rate. This might be one that we need to check out on part way through. <laughs> because if it's that hard, I don't know what I'm going to do. All right. I've seen so much of this theme recently because I've been making a level on this theme. <laughs> All right, so I need a key. Got it. Two coins. Oh yeah, they said this is a, a tail-based thing. Okay. So these will be the ends of two different routes, I take it. Yeah. Makes sense. Let's... Fail. Okay. So two different rows to get two different coins, and then presumably that then takes you to the end. Oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no, I needed that. Well, I'm just gonna try to run through it. And I can't. <sighs> okay, it's at least relatively short though. I think I can do that. That's doable. I think. So I need the feather or the leaf. I've been playing so much Fire Emblem. It is the main reason that... Oh my god, that is the worst thing I could do there. It's the main reason I've not done one of these in a bit. But also I was travelling and doing other projects. By the time this goes up, there should be two new videos on the page. A review of uh, A Fake Artist Goes to New York. Which in a lot of ways was just kind of me testing out my new camera to see if I can do stuff. <laughs> Um, but then another the one is an unboxing of the new Crusader Kings board game, which Ben did, and I edited, and it ended up way longer than I expected it to be, so I was editing it for a while, and then I messed up the first time, I had to go ahead and re-edit it. Oh my god, right, I'm just going to stand here. Uh, so I had to go ahead and re-edit it, which was annoying. There wasn't much change to be honest, but it was still annoying. You can't do it first time every time. Oh my god. I'm mainly just going this way first because I see those twisters down there and I hate them. I hate them so much. I have so many bad memories of them. Right. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I'd try not to get stuck under it because that first time it pushed me through the clouds, but there we go. Gotta be careful. Yep, just mash that button. Let's go down here. Do this. Now it doesn't matter as much. Oh god, but I still would have liked to have kept it. I don't know where that pipe up there goes to though. Oh my god. One. Let me on the thing. Ah, no! That's so close. Because there's this pipe. I assume there must be blue pipes up above that I can't see. No. There's boxes though. Which I'm always happy with. Hmm. I wonder where the pipes go spit mail then. Oh, does this spit you out of doors? 
Why did I do that? That was just silly. I've not seen a lot of crosses, which is also interesting. Given this one had 44 attempts and zero completions, which means people died in 44 places on this level. Apparently none of them are the places I'm dying. I'm just uniquely bad at this. Oh my god. Can I get back out? No, okay, I just need to die. There's nothing you can do after you lose it. I like the idea of the level though. And at least I don't have to do a weird jump under some spikes to get the leaf like that other one I did. Uh, that level was also pretty good apart from that one bit. I need to go back and finish that actually. I keep meaning to. But I've not been playing much Mario Maker, even off stream or off video. Oh god, no! Alright, well, time to just sit here and die. Alright. Yeah, I've been playing those Fire Emblem. It's mainly the thing I've been using my Switch for. I think I'm something like 40 hours into it now. But it's got to the point where I have stopped paying attention to the Fire Emblem channel on Discord because everyone's going to be further than me. <laughs> you take like a day- oh my god, I need to just be like more patient and get past that spike. You take like a day off and everyone gets like seven days ahead of you in the game. Which, depending on the path you're taking, might mean that people have finished the game. People are good about marking their spoilers and stuff though, but it's just... I'm... I don't know, I see those, those spoiler boxes and I'm just like, yeah, I need to click that. So I figure I'll just avoid the temptation entirely. Oh my god. Those all should have hit. Is it tail directional? Like, this only hit forward. I think I've ever actually noticed that before. Because the cape definitely hits both directions. Okay. This is a good sign. Uh, that's not great, but I think we can live with it. I don't think we need the tail for this next bit. I think this next bit. Unless... Oh no, 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 no! Oh, thank God. Unless this takes me somewhere that I need. But it can't, because there's a checkpoint there. Oh, thank God. So it's half the level done, I think? Alright. Let's do the second bit. Which is going to be a pain, because twisters... These twisters are the worst. Ah. Uh... Oh my god. Fall faster! Oh, that was a pro move that I definitely intended to do. That uh, jumping on the ice as it went down. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, this section doesn't seem too bad. So far, at least. They might get complicated towards the end or something. That poor mole just hanging there. Poor guy. Well, that's the end of me. I can definitely just do this without it. Who even needs a tail? Except me. I'm really hoping the colours in this video are okay. Let me know in the comments below if the com the colours in this one look way off compared to the other ones. I was having some issues where my Elgato was capturing everything like really desaturated. And so I was manually fixing it. 
I changed some settings and so I hope that fixed it, but I don't know, it might just made it worse. Oh god damn it, I'm gonna die. Can't do anything about this. There's nothing I can do. I need more patient. I wonder if there's some like really, really difficult bit up ahead though, because this bit seems doable. Like I got really far that first time. But this level has zero completions. But maybe the people who played just didn't have the extraordinary patience that I definitely have. No! Ah, uh, the patience I have, as you can see, from me continuously messing up every jump. All I need to do is wait. Trigger those icicles so that I can get past them. Um, right. But yeah, so we should have a couple of videos up on the page that you might have already seen. If you're into board games, we're hoping to try and do more board game coverage again. I've got. Oh my god, what have I done? I've got game sitting there that I've been meaning to do a review of for literally like a year at this point. It's well overdue. Uh, I don't know if they ever wanted that review copy back. Sometimes when you get board game reviews, they want the copies back. It's not really a thing you get for video games, it's, but for board games they usually, well not usually, but sometimes, usually it's prototype, which this one wasn't to be fair. They'd be like, hey, can we get that copy back? Which I assume I would have been told if you know, the one I had was one of those. Uh, but it's a fun game, it's just I've not had a chance. Oh my god. Okay, I've had a chance, I've been procrastinating, is the main thing. It's called Throne Storm? I believe. Like I said, I've had it for like a year or so, and I've played a bunch of it. Like, I actually quite like it. It's... My main issue is maybe just that it's a bit too samey every time. But... I keep meaning to do an actual review of it, like I've definitely played more than enough to do a review of it, I just... It was originally going to be a written review, and then I decided not to do that. Because one of the mechanics is kind of just really hard to describe on, like, in words. Ugh, which is a bad way of saying that, but like in written word. You kind of need to see it to properly get what you need to do. This is not going to work. You really need to tail there. Um, so I really need to do a video review of it so I can show, hey, this is how this works. And this is why this is kind of cool. But, yeah. Keeping it off. Maybe this weekend. Along with more Mario. Because even though the waypoint thread is starting to slow down a little bit, because everyone's starting to play Fire Emblem, <laughs> one, I think it will speed up again, because uh, Mario Maker is eternal, and people will come back to it. If they're like me, at least. Um, but also, I'm still already like 100 posts behind, so... I have more than enough content to keep these videos going indefinitely. Uh, especially with levels as long as this one, jeez. Or as hard as this one even. Um, give me a leaf. Right. Uh, come on, fall! Okay, good, good. 
Got him. That's what I needed. You. I wish there was a checkpoint there. Although that wouldn't work, because you need the tail. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, why did I go back? I just needed the confidence. I bet that's the end of that section. Do I have comments on that? Does that turn off the crosses? No. Oh, that only says 13 on the side. It said 44 before. Still, though. I wonder if everyone that played it got right to the end and died. I wish they're better than me. It also scares me about the end of this level. Okay, fall, fall, fall. Yes. Don't care about you guys. Nope, that's bad. Can I cheese this? Nope, you can't cheese this. There's no way to, like, do this this way. Nah. <sighs> yeah, I do more board game stuff. I like board games. And I've got a better camera. I can actually record board game stuff a bit better. Um, the review I put up for Fake Artist is a lot of kind of the same stuff. Like, it's very one take. Just, you know, because it was a short video, I didn't need to do multiple takes. Well, actually, that's a lie. I did multiple takes. That entire... The uh, intro section in that video was my first take, which I realized afterwards that my camera was like I was intent to go for a thing where it was kind of zoomed in. Oh, God damn it! Where it was zoomed in and everything in the background was all nice and bulky and blurry and stuff, but it just didn't look very good. It was kind of too zoomed in. It looked like a mistake, basically. <laughs> Uh, so I redid it and I just used that footage to cut together a weird little intro video. Which was fun. And if I ever monetize this channel, which is very unlikely, uh, I will need to do something about the music in it. Because the music I use for that intro is... Oh god damn it. Uh, it's... From Radio Network, or is it Radio Audio Network? Um, by the way, Audio Network was works is the cheapest option, which is why I bought it from. You can use it for stuff, and that's fine. But you can't advertise on it, and they will advertise on your YouTube videos, which is a pain. But that's why that you may have seen an advert on that video. The channel still doesn't have adverts. We don't have enough subscribers or anything for that. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of adverts anyway. So I'd probably, if we did have enough subscribers, I'd probably go like the Patreon route or something, but that's not something that's likely to happen anytime soon. Continue making money the old fashioned way. Writing programs for people. That was the dumbest death yet. I've died in some dumb ways in this. <sighs> I'm so happy there's a checkpoint there though. I think that's just good level design. <laughs> this whole level's well designed. I'm just bad at this section. Cause you have to kinda like bait these style takes down or ice cool down. I don't think you actually have to. Ugh. But if you mess up then you lose it and you just have to sit and wait till you die. I'm pretty sure all those red crosses are me. Yeah that the starter showing up now. Which is also possible. This time. Got a good feeling about this one. Look, I can get the world record on this if, you know, I finish it. Oh, that... Mm, that's bad. Jinxing myself. Getting too confident. It's 
fade. Like I said, I'm only like a hundred post behind on this thing. <laughs> um, Diego or uh, Murego, Murego? I'm probably mispronouncing that entirely. Uh, post another level in the same post, and I'll probably leave that till next video so that I can not spend entire episode dying over and over because their levels are hard and I'm bad but I will play it okay so I think that's the trick more is you don't you don't really need to bait these down but that is the easier option if you do it right not like what I'm doing but you can kind of like if you time it right, you can kind of swoop under and skip them entirely. Like, you just want to keep going. I almost walked into the spikes. Alright. Uh, I was also concerned in doing like a video series where I start playing fighting games. I know it's a really, you know, oversaturated thing. But I really want to learn to play Guilty Gear. You know, I've bought every Guilty Gear since Exert. Uh, but actually, it's a lie. I didn't buy Rev 2 because I got a review copy of that and reviewed it from the standpoint of, hey, I can't play fighting games. <laughs> but man, I love Guilty Gear. And. Uh, I tried to get good at it and that game's hard. But maybe if I did a video series and just, you know. Oh no! It's had me actually learn to be good. Obviously, it's being spurred on by Evil was this weekend, which Guilty Gear wasn't really at. I don't know if there was a smaller Guilty Gear tournament or something that I didn't really see. Um, the place where Cross Tag was there, but I don't. I'm, I like that game, but not, not enough to watch it. Um, but they announced a new Guilty Gear game, which I don't think has a name. They just called it New Guilty Gear, <laughs> but it looks nuts. Like they somehow managed to make one of the best-looking games in the industry look nicer. Like it looks so good. Arc System Works are just wizards when it comes to fake 2D. Alright, let's just keep the momentum going up this time. Oh, come on! Yes! Who cares about that goddamn tail? Me, I'm gonna keep it because I think I probably need it. There's probably one final section. Oh no! I did it! I'm the best. Better than anyone else who tried this level. Unless it just hadn't loaded properly before. Nope. I did it. Speedrun in 11 minutes 32. <laughs> Speedrun. That was a really good level. Good job, Diego. Or I've already forgot, which is annoying because I spoke to you before. Uh, Mur Murago? I Tell me how to pronounce your name. Because <laughs> I don't know. And I'm bad. Anyway, I'm going to skip the third level that they posted, which is Botanophobia, which is a good name, so it's actually tempting. Just because they describe it as being a long level with lots of piranha plants. Don't necessarily say it's that challenging, though. Hmm. Okay, yeah, no, the first response to this says that that level is really hard. I'm going to skip that one. I'll come back to it next episode. If I don't, give me, like, send me a message on the forums and remind me and I will definitely do it the one after. Because I am I have a bad memory. But I will do it. Because it sounds cool. Anyway, on to the next level. Next up we have House of Delightful Times by our old friend James Tarr. I actually already played this one. I can't remember why I played it. I think I just wanted to. <laughs> um, but I usually leave levels from this forum thread for these videos. 
Maybe I played it out of order and forgot. Um, but if it makes you feel better, I don't really remember other than it was cool. Oh, I do remember this level. Yeah, it's got a bunch of these little kind of puzzle rooms in it. It's really good. Uh, I'm really bad at it though. So you've got to like knock the Koopa up into the, the claw. But you can only get enough momentum on that first one. Like now that he's popped out, it kind of is hard. He doesn't go up as high. He goes up higher when he's actually out of his shell. Well, you can still do it though. Ugh. But if you stand under it, then it drops it. Which I think some mechanic I explained in an earlier episode. Oh my god. Do it! Okay, I need to wait for him to walk back. Also plays Mario Sunshine music the whole time because James Tarr's a monster. I like the Mario Sunshine. I just don't like the game. Imagine if you could put the Mario Sunshine camera in this game. Make real troll levels. Hey, I made the level that doesn't work. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. They should do a remake of Mario Sunshine. I like fix the camera and stuff. I'm taking you with me, I don't need you, but you're mine now, you're my friend. Uh, goodbye. This might break something, no. Oh yeah, you need to get through this as big Mario. You know, big Mario. Regular size Mario. Is that shell gonna despawn or am I dead? Okay, it despawned. Imagine if it bounced back when I was doing that. Yeah, this level's not that hard if I remember right. It's just... Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. It's just scary. Mm, I definitely didn't put this in an earlier episode, I don't think. I'm doubting myself now, but hey. If it is, then it's the first level I've played twice on here. <laughs> oh, this bit. I remember this bit. So you have to stack these in the fire. You can't throw them though? Oh god, I messed that up already. Because uh, if you throw power blocks that are flashing, they go off. So you need to kind of drop them like that. It's not that hard, it's just scary. <laughs> oh, this one's good as well. Although I'm bad at these. Oh god. The thing to always remember is that Koopas turn around. when you swap where they go. Oh, I, I messed up. This time. Nope, I forgot my own rule. I mean, it's not my rule, it's, it's how the game works. It's the designers of this game's rule. I need to do this. I don't think it actually matters. I don't know whether I want that pipe there or not. I'll leave it uncovered just in case. Let's go in this door. Ah, yes. Power blocks. So, what I do is this. Then, I want to rebalance it. This is such a smart level. It's just like a collection of smart little puzzles. So if I do this now, then it's gonna be hard to grab that, but I can do it. It's just smart little puzzles using mostly the new mechanics. So like those seesaws are new to this game. And the, what else do we have? Hey, who did it? The claw is new to this game. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Whoops. Unintentionally Kaizo block. That's a really good level. 
Not as difficult as a lot of James Towers others, but it's very good. Um, yeah, see, I said good stuff last time. Uh, skull gun, buddy. <laughs> what is that? That's terrifying. Delightful. Anyway, on to the next level. Next up we have Dead Don't Die by Nick Thick or Mufosto on the forums. I've played a bunch of their levels already on here. They're always very good. Uh, I'm hoping this is even vaguely based on the movie. <laughs> Broke my recording, but it's fine. We'll just keep powering through and hope for the best. Um, oh God. Distracted by possible recording issues. Yeah, Dead Don't Die is a movie that just came out recently by Jim Jermush. Jer I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. I've never actually heard it. Um, oh, God. It's very good. I like his movies in general. Um, but it was way funnier than his other movies have been, in my opinion. Well, the most of his movies that I've seen have not been, like... Oh god, this is a bad place to go. I've not been, kind of, explicitly horror movies. I'm doomed. I'm just gonna die here. Um, like my favourite of his movies is... Only Lovers Left Alive, which is a romance, technically, but vampires. It never uses the word vampire, but it's very clear about vampires. Tom Hiddleston and Tilda Swinton. It's very, very good. Uh, Dead Don't Die, it's a zombie comedy with Bill Murray and Adam Driver and a bunch of other people. Like, it's got a massive cast. Oh, I probably need that fire floor. Um, but it's really funny. I, I recommend it. It's way funnier than I was expecting it to be. I don't need the actual life. I don't need it. But yes, if this was named after that, good job. If not, I mean, it's a, it's a good name in general. Oh no. Look at all these skeletons. Oh god. Ah! I deserved that. I don't know why, but I deserved that. I probably did something. I put a giant magic up on my level that people complained about. Well, they didn't complain about it, but they said it was tough. So it's only fair that I die to one as well. Let's do that again without dying in a silly way. With all these skeletons constantly coming back. There's so many of them. Yay! The dead don't die. In cinemas now. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Mufosta's paid advertisement of a level. I enjoyed that. It was a nice, simple little level, but with a scary amount of <laughs> dry bones everywhere. It's a cool level. On to the next one. Next up we have No Reason to Panic by MGM195. Same name on the forum. World Records being kept there by Magic Astral. Another person from the Waypoint community. Not the highest clear rate in the world, I'll be honest. A little bit scary. They scrape it short and sweet and puzzle solving. Doable light puzzle solver with mild challenge. And two completions. I wish you could like do the, the pick up a bull. That's not a word. The version of these blocks you could pick up that was in Mario 3. That would be a neat addition. They had something similar in the story mode. So I assume it's going to come in DLC or something. Uh, this is scary. Hey, buddy. This is mine now. 
Ooh. Please tell me this is what I think it is. Oh, I messed up. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I hope it's not what I hope I thought it was, because... Okay, it's not. Oh, I saw another puzzle level when I was doing randoms. Um, it's not called randoms, but you know what I mean. Uh, where you had to use one of those helmets and you had to stand underneath a horizontal thwomp and if you jumped at the right time, you pushed it up to the next one up. Oh god, oh god. Um, it was cool. Oh god, maybe I do. Because how else will I get through that? Maybe I need to knock up multiple things. Oh, I'm dead now. Oh, maybe it's that. <laughs> the thing I was just like, ah, it's not that. But actually, it was. Uh, is there anything to go on this way? No. I really wish that you could view, like, the levels, like, in the editor, like you could in the first Mario Maker. Because someone made a... a You've probably seen it because it was going around a few weeks ago. It was, uh, they called it the hostage negotiation level or just interrogation level or something. Um, but basically, you have to go into space with a Goomba and sit there without killing it. And eventually, you get a key. I want to know how it works. Like, it's obviously stuff on a trail that goes a certain amount of time. Oh my god, I messed this up. But I just, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to know how to do that. I'm not smart enough for that. Come on, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm so scared this far. Ugh. I need to stand under it and jump. Let's go risk it. I'm just gonna risk it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um... This isn't what I wanted to do. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's a good use of slopes. I don't know, you could do that. I didn't know if thwomps liked slopes. Oh, if it gets hit by that, will it die? Or is that just for me? Will it automatically push it up? Oh, it just doesn't, <laughs> it just doesn't do anything. Thump doesn't care. He and his crushing pal are friends. Free me, Mr. Thwomp. Let us become friends. So now I've hit the button. I have... Oh, that doesn't help. What am I doing? Oh, I need to leave them... I messed this up, I need to do this all again. Ah, I'm stupid. There was probably a way to reset that. Actually no, there probably wasn't. I just locked myself out. You need to make him hit those blocks across from it. Which I didn't do, because I'm stupid and jumped to conclusions. It was like, all right, I've clearly done something. Give me the helmet. I need that. You go. Fire. Oh my god, fire. Why are you my enemy? Go. This is bad timing. This is so bad timing. Ugh. At least I didn't die. I can go get the helmet back. A smart person would sit and actually figure out the timing of this. I'm just gonna keep guessing. Here you go. That was bad. I jumped too high. It's fine. This level's doable. At least so far. Until I get to the hard bit. Whole lot of people using pyramids in the de desert. Makes sense. Don't 
don't see many people making a full artistic rendition of a sphinx though. Hmm. Oh no, I'm going to get hit by the fire. Uh, I really finished the level I started working on. Go. Okay, this seems, this seems good. That would have been good if I'd done it right. But I didn't. That's who it wasn't. That was also bad. That could have went terribly. You, you can go over there. Because I never need to go back down there now. Ever. Because I've done it right this time. Okay. Doing it when the fire starts seems like a roughly good timing, but not always. Okay. So we set them all the way up there. And then go boop. And then go boop. And then go boop. And then go down here. Wait for this thing. Oh my god. No! I can't go back! I get why the one-way things are there, they need to be for the thwomp to work. But it means if you lose a helmet there, you're doomed. If you're bad at this level like me. Oh, I got so close. I really hope this level, like, loops round on itself. Because... I don't know if it can, because you can't see up there. Um... But... It's hitting... Note blocks up there. Which I don't know if there's any reason for, other than if you could get up there. Oh no, that's too soon. Thwompy buddy. You jumped the gun. Actually, that would have been fine. You jumped the gun, buddy. You gotta wait for the storm pistol. Which is that? I was too early. I've messed this up. Oh no, no, no. Perfect. Nailed it. Both won't be. Go back to your home. I wonder if I forgot what the name of this level was. But it should be Thwompy and his pyramid adventures. And not No Reason to Panic, which is actually a really good name. It's definitely actually better than the nonsense I just said. But yeah, this thing hits those music blocks. I don't know if there's a reason for that. I don't know if that does something to it. Hey, thump buddy. I need you to stay here. We're going on an adventure. Don't follow me, Thwompy. You'll get stuck in that corner. Stay free. You've earned your freedom. I believe MGM tried to make me take the freedom from that poor innocent thwomp. Oh my god. Go, no, go away. I hope I don't need that on. I can't deal with endlessly spawning Karibo shoes. Um, this seems bad. What am I doing? No! Oh, Jesus. I need to go up there. I can't do this. I'm glad there's a reset point here. I get that it would have been really hard to do, but it would be nice to see some kind of reset point in that previous area. Like, I don't know how you even would. Ah. Ah. Okay, I'm just going to do this again. That worked well. don't think it's the intended route, but... I'll live with it. Oh, you do have to go up that way. Although... There are those blocks you can get through there. 
Hmm. That was stupid. There was no checkpoint. So I'm doomed. Oh, there was checkpoint. Four. Not doomed. You thought of everything, MGM. Except for, you know, trying to make me do terrible things to that thwomp that only saved my life. I'm just gonna collect shoes over here. You know, for funsies. Oh, go away! I need a helmet. trying to rush through it. And I... Mm-hmm. That's weird. I couldn't read that comment either. Bunch of soft locks. Bounce monster up here. First do... Oh, whatever, I don't know. Hey, buddy. Why do I feel this is gonna go bad? That doesn't work. That'd be scary. Hmm. What do I need to do here? Uh, I'm gonna leave this. Do I need that spring though? Intended route. I broke something. Oh well, I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna go to the next bit. I got the I got the coin. That's the important thing. That's a death. Okay. <laughs> and here's me thinking I'm going to the next part of the level. Okay, he stopped doing this. Damn it, MG, and you got me. Who would be stupid enough to fall for that? But me! Your friendly neighborhood idiot. Um. Oh, jeez. Right. I don't think there was any other crosses in that pet. I was the only one stupid enough to jump down there. Because that's not how Mario works. The camera would have moved. Why would I do that? I wasn't thinking. Oh god. Well, I messed this up. Hey, Mr. Thwomp. Let's go! Right. Right, let's not go down there. Go this way again, because this worked well before. So I assume I need to get the big thwomp up there. Mainly just because every other puzzle in this so far has been very thwomp oriented. Which would make sense. Because this whole section seems pointless. The big thwomps can go through these blocks. So I think I need to... Push them up here. I ain't gonna need to. So I need to do this. And I guess me up here. Which lets me do this. So I can get all these precious, precious coins. Oh, give me the thing. 
I got a helmet. Then you can go up here. Come on, buddy. Ugh. There we go. Right. Now we do this. And then he should break his way into freedom. With a little, you know, emotional support. <laughs> Give music trigger. Did I need to follow him? Alright, let's go get him to respawn. I think I need him to break through these. You gotta be faster. Kill that munchie. Right. I hope he respawns. Okay, he does. Good, good. You, my friend. Come. Alright. You, my munchie friend, can get lost, though. Ah! That's not how I wanted that to go. I was hoping I'd have enough momentum to just run in front of him. Um, for at least a bet. No, that's the worst way that could have went. Because now he's gone. I need him to respawn. So I'm going to have to go back around anyway. Oh no, he's back. I'm so glad for once that the... The distance for respawning is so low in this game at times. It depends on what the thing is, I think. So thomps, giant thomps are obviously big and probably take up a lot of sprite memory. That's not an actual term. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know, pixel space buffers. That's probably a thing. I make games. I know what I'm talking about. Except I don't. Let's go! Music didn't trigger a second time. Unfortunate, but not surprising. Get me to my key. How can you break out of there? Go be with your family. Do we do it? Checkpoint. That's never a good sign. Uh. There you go, this. Okay. Killed the pyramid. I don't think I need this shoe. Although, honestly, I don't think I need that anymore. Yay! I did it. That was a good level. I like that. Smart use of thwomps. Thwomps as a puzzle mechanic are always cool. Awesome. Good level. Right, I'm going to do one more and that's going to be the end of this video. Next up we have Christmas in July by Magic Estral. I wish that was real. I'm fed up of this heat. It's far too hot in Scotland for August. Or even July when it was, you know, July a couple of weeks ago. Or a week ago. I think it's hottest summer in history, I believe, or since records began. Probably not in history. There's probably some dinosaurs that are like, hey, actually. I feel like I played this level. I like this level already. Did I play this level already? I recognize it. Well, we're gonna play anyway. But I p apologies if I played this. Let's go. I think there was a point where I wasn't sure how many more of these videos I was going to do. And so I did just play a couple of the newer levels because I wanted to play them. But I don't know. Oh no! Oh no, is it Magic Ketchel says this is a simpler level than their usual stuff? Oh god! Safe. Alright. 
I trust you, Magic Casual. You made Swamp Romp, so... You can't be lying to me. The creator of Swamp Romp would never put me in danger. Uh, hey, buddy. Oh, I do remember this. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, the way it works is... It... <laughs> slippery grounds. Um, it decides what you fight based on whether you hit that button or not. It's safe. And then when you turn it off, it's unsafe. I'm going to go for unsafe anyway. I think the whole point is meant to be you get those coins and that's why you take that risk. But, um, if you see these blocks here, so this guy spawned here, but if I had turned that off, he wouldn't have spawned because he would have been blocked by these red blocks. Same with this cannon that is constantly firing shells at me, which is really annoying. Ugh. Whereas that middle one will have some easier enemy, I think probably just a non-flying version of him. If I remember right, because I think I did this before. I've definitely played this level before. Pretty sure not on video. If I did, sorry. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going in this thread just in order. I definitely haven't played that last one. Ugh. Ugh. These shells are so annoying. Damn it. Damn it, right from the start I messed this up. That was a good one. Oh, I almost risked it there. It wasn't worth it. Oh yeah, stand on here is definitely the way to go. Yay! Oh, so you get an extra one up if you do it this way, because again, that you can see that block up at top left there. When it spawned. I think, was it Magic Hitchell that made the level that had all the... Like, you could choose whether you wanted the harder platforming section or a harder enemy section. I can't remember if that was Magic Cash or James Tarr. It was one of the, you know, the, the people from the forum that post a lot. Um, yeah, I definitely couldn't have. I couldn't have done this on the video because uh, I couldn't get that kind of precision in a drawing unless I was using a stylus or a finger or something. It's just too perfect. Anyway, that's going to do it. For episode 13? I should probably just stop saying the numbers in the videos, eh? Uh, that's gonna do it for this latest one. When did I play this level? 31 days ago. Jesus. I definitely didn't play this on stream. Or video. Can I report my own comment? No, I can delete it. I was like, can I report it? Anyway. Goodbye. I'm gonna do more of these. I'm gonna play more Mario Maker because it's one of the best games ever made. Actually, there's one little bonus. The two we did before. Let's go into non Nintendo's challenge. Let's go to courses. Let's go to new courses. Let's help someone out that's got zero plays. Because people deserve it. Let's go with, hmm. 
Super Metroid Worlds. Oh, sounds pretty decent. Easy Simple 2 sounds pretty good as well. Let's go speed run one. Go fast, never stop twice sec. Let's do it. Speed run. Zero playthroughs. Short and sweet. These 20 second speed run levels require a lot of precision to get right. So if you botch any of it, which I'm not saying they have, because I've not played it yet. Oh, I need the spin jump. That's why I said Zed there. Um, but yeah, I definitely see a couple of these levels that aren't very well made. It's like how in Mario Maker 1 you would see people that made the levels that played themselves that didn't work properly. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Whew. But I like these as a concept. They're better than... I wasn't holding the jump button. I messed up. They're better than the autoplay levels. Because even though they are heavily scripted and they do basically play themselves, you are interacting enough that you can mess up like I have three or four times now. Which is good. Because it means it's actually a level. It's not just a song. Which, to be fair, I do also like music levels. Yay! Two seconds left. Look at me, number one. That was good. And hopefully that means more people find it now because it's had a play on it. 17850. And let's say speedrun. It's a good level. And let's go do it for this episode. I'll be back with more episodes. This feature's not going anywhere. I've just been busy. But I'm still playing Mario Maker. Not as much because Fire Emblem. But I'm still playing it. So yeah. Check out the other videos. Check out this board game videos I talked about. I think I'll probably put both the board game videos like on this. You'll probably see them right now. Just click them and go see them. See you next time.